Today we're here for the 1985 NBA Draft, where Victor Wembanyama is going to be entering the league. In the modern day, Wemby is breaking basketball in just his rookie season, and we're going to find out if he could do similar things back in the 80s. So we got to start it off by finding out who's going to get a chance to draft Victor Wembanyama. And it looks like the San Antonio Spurs landed the number one pick. I guess it's just destiny that he goes to San Antonio. I mean, there's always a chance the Spurs pick Patrick Ewing or somebody else, but I feel like Wemby is the consensus top guy in this draft, and as a result, the San Antonio Spurs are going to select him. And in San Antonio, Wembenyama's going to get a chance to play alongside the Iceman, who is a little bit older, and they've also got some other vets like Gene Banks and Johnny Moore. Not a bad team at all. I think with the addition of Wembenyama, the Spurs can be a playoff squad in season number one. But without any more talking, let's get into Wemby's rookie year. Season number one is wrapped. Magic Johnson wins MVP. You've got to be kidding me. Carl Malone won rookie of the year. Wembenyama was on all rookie first team as he averaged 17, 7, and 3 on the year with three blocks a night. So definitely a solid start to Wembenyama's NBA career. I guess Carl Malone just got off to a better start. He was on the all NBA second team as a rookie. And my prediction about the Spurs being a playoff team was wrong. We only won 33 games on the year. So I guess it's back to the draft lottery, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We can get some more young talent around Wembenyama. We ended up jumping up to the number two pick. That's huge. And in the 1986 draft, there's definitely some solid options for our team. So we'll see who we end up picking up. With the first overall pick, the Washington Bullets are going to take Rodman. And with the second pick, we select Len Bias. Of course, I have to say rest in peace to Len Bias. But in a recent video, we had Bias on our team with Steph Curry and Michael Jordan. And now, Bias is going to get a chance to share the floor with Victor Wembenyama. Headed into season number two, Wembenyama is up to an 89 overall. And now we got Len Bias in the mix too. I'm excited to see what the team can do this year. Hopefully this is the season we make the leap into the playoffs. Season number two is wrapped. Magic Johnson won MVP. Michael Jordan gets his hands on the DPOY. I was honestly expecting Wembenyama to win it in year two. This year, Wembenyama did make second team at just 20 years old, averaging 21 points and 9 rebounds per night. He also averaged almost 3 blocks, and the efficiency went up from the field, but down from the 3. It is the 80s though, so I doubt he's shooting a lot of 3s. He actually shot a little over 100, but compared to what we see in the modern day, that isn't a lot. And this year, we only won 22 games. I think Victor Wembenyama is struggling a little bit in the 1980s so far. I mean, obviously the team around him isn't the best, but I think the squad is solid enough to at least make a playoff appearance. But this will give us a chance to get another top prospect in the draft. We end up landing the number two pick once again. And in the 1987 draft, D-Rob and Scottie Pippen are available. You also got guys like Reggie Miller and Kevin Johnson. A lot of solid options here. It'd be pretty cool if we got D-Rob, of course, because the Spurs had him in real life. But maybe we don't really need another big man. With the first overall pick in the 1987 draft, the Philadelphia 76ers are going to select David Robinson. That's the right pick. Second overall, the San Antonio Spurs. We're going to take Kevin Johnson. I would have rather us had Scottie Pippen, but Kevin Johnson is a solid option coming in at 79 overall. Honestly, I probably would have rather had Reggie Miller too. Miller would have played so well off of Wembenyama with his floor spacing abilities. But it's fine. We add another really good piece to the team. I'm not going to be mad at that. And headed into season number three, Victor Wembenyama is up to a 93 overall. We no longer have George Gervin on the team but that's just going to give Wemby more of an opportunity to shine and lead the way for this squad. Also, Len Bias is up to an 82. I'm excited for this year. Hopefully, we can at least win some games because we have not been good at that over these past couple years. Season is wrapped, and we finally made our way into the NBA playoffs. Victor Wembenyama was named to the All-NBA first team, averaging 24 points and 12 rebounds. The efficiency was way up. 
and 43 wins was enough for a playoff spot. We weren't an elite team by any means, but we made it into the postseason, which means we have a chance to contend for a championship. In round number one, we're going to be taking on the Phoenix Suns. They have Scottie Pippen. They've also got Jeff Malone. A decent team, but I feel like we're definitely better on paper. Never mind, we got swept. But it's clear Victor Wembanyama is not afraid of the bright lights. He averaged 30 points and 16 rebounds in this first round series. It's unfortunate that Wembenyama's first playoff run was very short-lived, but I think there will be many more to come. Wembenyama is up to a 95 overall at only 21 years old. He's an emerging young star. Speaking of emerging young stars, Len Bias and Kevin Johnson are also getting a lot better. We could be building something special here in San Antonio. Season is wrapped. Congratulations to Victor Wembenyama on an MVP. Four seasons in and Wemby wins most valuable player. He averaged 25 points, 13 boards, 4 assists, and 3 blocks. And somehow, even though Wembenyama averaged all those blocks, Hakeem won DPOI. And this year, our coach Calvin Cousins was named Coach of the Year. And behind our MVP, Victor Wembenyama, we were the best team in the West this season. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Golden State Warriors. We sweep them. Round number two, we got the Dallas Mavericks. This Mavericks team isn't anything special in my opinion. Okay, we're tied up at two apiece after four games. We're going to take game five and six. So we're in the conference finals taking on the Lakers. They're always a juggernaut in these Magic versus Bird era Sims. The good news for us is they don't have Kareem on the team anymore. They've still got Magic and Worthy though, so we definitely have to watch out. Game number one of the series will go to us. We also take game two. They'll win game three and four. So now we're all tied up headed into game five. And unfortunately, the Los Angeles Lakers get the win in game five despite 38 and 23 from Wembenyama. Magic had a triple double. James Worthy had 25. And we are one game away from being eliminated here. And unfortunately, the Lakers playoff experience proves to be too much against our young San Antonio team. Victor Wembenyama loses in the conference finals after winning the MVP award. Yeah, Magic Johnson is just having a dominant run. And the Lakers go on to win the finals in a sweep. Man, if we could have took care of LA last year, that championship would have been ours. But it's okay. We have a young big three there's still going to be plenty of time for this team to compete for title. Another season in the books, and Wembenyama goes back-to-back -back on MVP awards. Still can't win that DPOI, though. And this year, we won 57 games, making us the two-seed in the Western Conference. In the first round, we got the Charlotte Hornets, and we beat them in four. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to take on the Lakers in round two. They just beat us last year. We've got a little bit more experience headed into this year so hopefully that can help us out as we head into a tough series against LA game one will go to the Lakers we'll win game two and three and they take game four we got to win this game five we lost our game five last year and I feel like that's where things started to go wrong luckily this time the guys are going to show up and we get the game five dub also real quick if you guys are enjoying the video so far I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing we recently hit 30k and and now we're trying to hit 40k. Thank you guys so much for all your support. They had Victor Wembenyama playing all 48 in this game. He put up 44, 11, 5, and 7. Len Bias put up 37. Bro, the coach has been running Wembenyama into the ground. Almost 44 minutes a night. Man, it's good injuries are off. Now we just need one more win and we'll be advancing to the conference finals. And we're going to manage a W against the Lakers. Wembenyama, 46, 9, and 6. He's been on a historical playoff run so far. We'll see if he can continue that against the Blazers, led by Clyde Drexler and Fat Lever. They've also got Bernard Thompson. A really solid Portland team for sure, but we just beat the Lakers. I think we can beat the Blazers. Yeah, we're up 3-0. to zero. We sweep them. And in the NBA Finals, it's going to be Detroit. The bad boy Pistons. Bill Lambeer and Isaiah Thomas. Hopefully we're about to hand them an L. We're up 2-0 early. 
they win game three, we take game four, and they win game five. So let's just close this out in six. We don't want any chance of Detroit making a three to one comeback. And we are gonna manage the game six dub. Victor Wembinyama is an NBA champion in his fifth season, and what a playoff run it was for Wemby. Kevin Johnson won finals MVP over Wembinyama? I mean, credit to him. He was hooping in these playoffs. He turned it up even more in the finals. But I thought Wemby was a lock for finals MVP. Hey, at least Wemby got a chip. Congrats to Kevin Johnson on the award. As Wemby heads into year six, I don't see any reason why we can't repeat. Kevin Johnson just got a lot better. He's coming off the finals MVP. We've still got Len Bias. Wemby Nyama is coming off of two MVPs in a row. There probably aren't many teams in the league that can stop us. Let's get to the end of the season. Another season in the books, Victor Wemby Nyama goes for a third MVP in a row. Hakeem Team's just too good of a defender for Wemby to win that DPOY though. And this year, your San Antonio Spurs won 60 games. We're the two seed, the Lakers were the one seed. We might have another battle with them in the playoffs this year. Round number one, we got the Orlando Magic, we sweep them. Round two, it's gonna be the Phoenix Suns. They look better than the last time we faced them, and I think they beat us last time. It was a couple years ago, and this time they're giving us trouble. They're up three to two. We win game six, setting up a winner go home game seven. And it looks like game seven is gonna come down to the wire, so we gotta jump in. A minute 54 left to go here. We're up by three points, and we have possession of the ball. Winchester is gonna give it into Wemby. Wemby gives it over to Robertson. Robert gives it back to Winchester. Winchester gives it up to Kevin Johnson, the reigning finals MVP. Johnson is going to get the screen, pop the mid-range, and miss it. Scotty Pippen grabs the rebound, and he's moving in transition. Pippen finds Bowie for the dunk. Great find from Scotty Pippen. And just like that, the Phoenix Suns are within a point. Let's get a Kevin Johnson and Wemby pick and roll going. Johnson, standing at the top of the key, swings it over to Bias. Len Bias turns it over, Pippen on the fast break. This is a free bucket. You got to watch out for Scotty in those passing lanes. That created an easy opportunity for the Phoenix Suns, and now they have the lead. We got to get some offense going, man. The Suns are playing really well in the clutch so far. Kevin Johnson going to spin. He's trying to make his way to the basket, walks it back out to the three-point line. Johnson over to Winchester. Not much time left on the shot clock for Winchester to do something. He gives it to Johnson for three, and Kevin Johnson misses again. Now Phoenix is going to give it to Scottie Pippen once again. Pippen going downhill. Fakes going to swing it over to Tarpley. Pippen gets the ball back. He's in the post. Puts up the layup. Misses. Winchester the rebound. Get Wembenyama a touch. There you go. Wemby going to the basket. Short jumper is good. We now have the lead. Was it that hard to get our 7 foot 4 big man the basketball? Suns are going to give the ball into Scottie Pippen. Pippen in his bag. Scottie's going to spin. Oh great defense there. He's forced to pass it out to Pressy. Pressy gives it to Scotty Pippen. Suns in need of a bucket. Only about 15 seconds to go. Pippen with the shot clock winding down. Has to take a shot. Puts up an awkward hook and hits it. Oh my goodness. Scotty Pippen has been incredible for Phoenix in the clutch. He had the pass to Sam Bowie for the dunk. He had a steal and a dunk of his own. And then he had that hook right there. And now we've got to make something happen. Down by one here. Less than eight seconds to go in the game. Winchester gonna give it into Kevin Johnson Johnson not much time to make his move find some room in the mid-range and knocks it down Kevin Johnson was bricking everything in the clutch but he comes through in the biggest moment and now we are up by one but the Suns have time they just called timeout they've got 1.8 seconds to get a shot off if you're San Antonio you do not want to see the ball in Scottie Pippen's hands Pippen has been red hot in this game Tisdale is inbounding he's gonna give it down to Tarpley Tarpley did he even get the shot off no way that counts Wembenyama with some good post defense and the Suns couldn't even get the shot off in time. 
we are moving on 28 11 and 6 from Wemby in this one and despite Scottie Pippen's best efforts we got the dub in the conference finals we've got another matchup against the Los Angeles Lakers here we go again game one of the series will go to us Lakers win game two we win game three and four and five and in the NBA finals we're gonna get Mike versus Wembenyama. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. After three games, the Bulls are up two to one, but we win game four. So now we've got game five that's gonna be very important for the series as we're all tied up here. And it looks like the San Antonio Spurs are gonna dominate this one. Kevin Johnson with a 40 ball. I have to admit, Kevin Johnson is a playoff performer. He had that big shot for us against the Suns. He was breaking a couple shots earlier, but we'll give him a pass because look at what he's doing in the finals, man. Now we just need one more win and we will be back-to-back -back NBA champions. But Chicago is not going to give up. We were up big headed into the fourth quarter, but the Bulls have outscored us 16-32. to And now with about 16 seconds remaining, the Bulls are up by one and we have possession of the ball. We need a bucket. The ball's going to go into Kevin Johnson, and Johnson's taking his time here. We don't exactly have a lot of time. He's going to find Robertson for three, and he misses. That might just do it. Okay, we're going to get to foul. So we will have one last shot at this. Valentine at the line. First one is good. Second one for Valentine is also good. And we do have a timeout left, which is huge. We've got to hit a three-pointer, though, to tie this game up and potentially force OT. Winchester is inbounding the ball. He's going to give it in to Robertson for another three. He misses again. He just missed the last one. Why did we give it to him again? Len Bias, 37-17. and 17. Wemby with 30. But we lose to Mike, 31, 5, and 14 in this one. So it all comes down to this. We've got a game seven with an NBA title on the line. And it looks like your San Antonio Spurs are going back to back. They need to start calling Kevin Johnson Mr. Clutch. 38 points and 11 assists. Wemby was kind of trash. Four of 17 is nuts. But we won the championship, and this time, Wembenyama does take home the finals MVP. The efficiency wasn't great in the finals, but he still put up big numbers. Just six seasons into his NBA career in the 80s, Victor Wembenyama already has two titles and three MVPs. He's building up a GOAT-like resume early on. We'll see if he can keep up this momentum as we head into season number seven. Wembenyama, a fourth MVP, and now we're going to get to see if he can win a third chip in a row as well. 68 wins on the season. I think that's our best win total yet. In round number one, we got the Portland Trail Blazers. We sweep them. Round two, it's going to be Sacramento. We beat them in seven. I should have slowed that one down, but hey, we got the dub. Next up, it's going to be the Lakers. We always got to face them. You all know the team at this point. Magic, Byron Scott, and Worthy. Game one of the series will go to us. We also take game two. Oh man, we got the Lakers number now. We're about to cook them. We go ahead and beat them in five. Next up, it's going to be the Atlanta Hawks led by Dominique Wilkins. Dominique is cool, but I think our team is better. Games one and two will go to the Hawks. Okay, never mind. We're cooked. We got swept. Shout out to Dominique, man. Oh my goodness. He ends our championship streak at two in a row. Good playoff effort from Victor Wembenyama and company, but unfortunately, we came up short. I don't know what happened last year, but I'm just gonna hope that it was a fluke. Let's see if we can bounce back this year. Five MVPs in a row for Wembenyama. Minyama. And this year we won 59 games, making us the two seed. In the first round, we got Portland. We sweep them. Round two, it's going to be Sacramento. We're up three to two, and we're headed to a game seven against the Kings. Reggie Miller and Chris Mullen, this team's got a lot of shooting, but their great shooting wasn't enough to propel their team past us as Wembenyama had an incredible triple-double, 25, 14, and 12 with five blocks. Reggie Miller's 45 wasn't enough. Oh my goodness, he's been going off. And next up, we got the Phoenix Suns. We face this team quite a few times at this point. Gotta watch out for Scotty. Game one will go to us. We also win game two. Suns take game three and four. We're gonna win game five, and they win game six, setting up another winner-go-home 
home game seven. And in game seven, the Phoenix Suns get the win despite Wembenyama's 42. Another great playoff effort from Wemby, but it ends in the conference finals. We've lost two years in a row. It's time to get back to winning championship. Season is wrapped. D-Rob wins MVP. Wembenyama's MVP streak is over. He did still make all NBA first team and put up solid numbers in his ninth season. And our team was the one seed. So I'm not too worried about him not winning MVP. Wemby's won plenty of those. So let's just go win this championship. We take care of the Clippers easily in round number one. Round two, we got Sacramento. It's tied up into a piece. We're going to win game five and they win game six. Man, Sacramento is consistently giving us problems year after year. I guess we got another game seven against the Kings. Let's get into it. This time, Sacramento's going to get the win. We almost made a crazy fourth quarter comeback. I didn't even see it happen until the last second. Like we were scoring point after point so fast, but we ended up losing here. Wemby won two championships in a row, and that's been followed by three seasons where we've lost in the playoff. If Wemby Wemby wants to build a goat-like resume, he's going to need to add some more chips to it. He's headed into year 10, which likely means he's about halfway through his NBA career, and he only has two championships so far. I'd like him to get up to five or six if we want to start talking about him being the GOAT. Another season in the books, D-Rob has been dominant in these simulations as of late. Like the past couple videos we've done, David Robinson has been insane. Wembenyama was named a first team this year, but his scoring was down quite a bit. This is the lowest amount of points he's averaged since his second season. But San Antonio is still playing great basketball. 54 wins made us the one seed in the West. We take care of Seattle easy in round one. We're down 3-1 to Golden State in round two. We lost in five. I thought we were building something special when we won two chips in a row, but we've fallen off ever since. The Warriors have Shaq and Penny. Oh, that's a fire duo. I can't lie. It's been a while since we won a title. Wembenyama needs to go out there and prove that he can win championships again. We even made a new addition this summer, adding Kendall Gill to the team. He's an 85 overall two guard. There's no excuse not to get it done. We've got a great team. Season is wrapped. The Diesel wins MVP. Wembenyama is still on first team. And this year, the Spurs won 58 games. The Warriors were a little better. Better. That Penny and Shaq duo is scary. Round one, we take care of Phoenix. Round two, we do the same to Dallas. And now we've got the Warriors. They've got Rodman to Del Curry. Oh, we might be cooked. That team looks insane. Game number one of the series goes to the Warriors. We take game two and three. Warriors will win game four. We take game five and they win game six. Setting up a winner go home game seven. This one could go either way. I have no idea who's going to win this one. And it looks like it's going to be the Golden State Warriors coming out on top. Wembenyama might have some problems. If this Warriors team stays together, I don't know how we're going to stop them. Another good playoff effort from Wemby, but we come up short. We needed one more win and we would have been in the finals. And now Len Bias is starting to regress. It's not going to get any easier for Wemby to win championships. Let's get to another season. This is Wemby's age 30 season. He's getting old on us. Another season in the books. Chris Webber wins the MVP award this time. Wembenyama is on second team. Is the fall off starting? We missed the playoffs this year? Oh, the fall offs really started. 36 wins. This summer, we have the 1997 NBA draft. And we will be in the lottery for it. Maybe there's a small chance we jump up to number one. Nah, we got the number 12 pick. We ended up adding Derek Anderson. And with the team's struggles last season, I think it's important to note that Wembenyama is headed into the last year of his contract. He could leave San Antonio. But maybe we bounce back this season and Wemby decides to stay. We'll have to see. Another season in the books. Chris Webber wins MVP. Wembenyama once again on second team. The numbers continue to drop for the old man, but he did sign a five-year extension to remain in San Antonio, as this year we made it back to the playoffs with 47 wins. In round number one, we got the Seattle Sonics, and we're going to take care of them in a sweep. Round two, we got the Denver Nuggets. We're up three to two on them, and we beat them in six. All right, we're in the conference finals. Unfortunately, though, we got the Warriors next. Game one of the series will go to them. We win game two and three and four. They're going to take game five and six. Wemby, don't blow a 3-1 to Shaq. It looks like Wemby and the Spurs are going to get the job done. A year after missing out on the playoffs, 
were advancing back to the NBA Finals. And in the Finals, we got the Sixers with Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, Hershey Hawkins, Charles Barkley, and D Rob. D Rob is a 99. Game one of the series will go to us. Sixers take game two. We win game three and four, and we're going to win a championship. When Binyama is named Finals MVP, I did not expect us to win a ring this year, but that's ring number three for Wemby. And at 31 years old, apparently Wemby's still improving. He's up to a 99 overall coming off the chip. Unfortunately though, his teammates around him are starting to get older. He's going to have a lot more weight on his shoulders as we head into another season. Another season in the books, Chris Webber is insane. He's won so many MVPs. Wembenyama makes second team once again, and this year we were the five seed with 51 wins. It was a competitive Western Conference. In round number one, we got the Seattle Sonics. We're gonna sweep them. Round two, it'll be the Clippers, and we take care of them in seven. We smacked them in game seven, though. And next up, we got the Warriors, our yearly matchup against Shaq. Here we go again. Game one of the series will go to us. Game two also goes to us. We're up 3-0 on Shaq. We swept them. And next up, it's gonna be Toronto. I did not expect us to sweep Shaq and the Warriors. The Raptors have Tim Duncan and Kobe. They're gonna be dangerous in a couple years once those guys progress they're already dangerous right now they're in the finals but early on we're doing well against them we're up three to zero and we're gonna sweep the finals Wemby Yama wins another championship that's two in a row for Wemby and four championships in total and after Wemby's fourth title his teammates are continuing to show their age they're getting older and older but Wemby's got it done the past couple years so we'll see if he can complete the three-peat Another season in the books, Chris Webber is the greatest basketball player ever. Wembenyama's down to third team at 33 years old. But this year we were the one seed with 53 wins. Round number one, we've got a close series against Phoenix. We're going to beat them in five. Next up, of course, we got to face Shaq and the Warriors. We're down two to one early. They're up three to one and we lose in five. I was wondering how we were beating them year after year. I figured eventually they were going to get the best of us and they did this year. Man, Kevin Johnson and Len Bias have regressed so much. I'm predicting a down year for the team this year. Maybe Wemby will prove me wrong, but I'm not too hopeful. Another season in the books, KG wins MVP. Big men have been dominating in this simulation. I feel like we've seen only bigs winning MVP. And this year, Wemby Yama did not make all NBA at all. Spurs only won 45 games. And Wemby put up the lowest points per game he's averaged since his rookie year. We did still make the playoffs though, so we've got a chance. We're taking on the Lakers in round number one, and we got swept. Yeah, Wemby, the supporting cast is kind of falling apart. I don't blame you for losing in this one. And now, with Wemby Nyama having a year left on his contract, it might be time for him to pursue free agency. The team is super old, and I don't really see a pathway for him to contend on this squad. So, maybe he'll leave. Maybe he'll stay loyal, though. We'll have to see. No playoffs for Wemby Nyama this season. No All-NBA. No nothing. Just just disappointment and speaking of disappointment Wemby signed a four-year extension I don't know why he'd want to stay here but maybe the team can turn things around don't worry guys we drafted Matt Barnes I think he's ready to save the franchise yeah the team looks tragic but there is one reason I have hope if we're trash this season the 03 draft is next offseason and that's when LeBron Wade Bosch Melo they all come into the league right so if we lose a bunch of games and get a good pick for that draft we might be cooking but i feel like that's our only way to turn things around another season in the books no all nba for Wembenyama. at a 99 overall not making all nba is crazy but somehow as a team we had a crazy bounce back year with 52 wins i don't know how this happened but we'll take it round number one we got the grizzlies and we're gonna take care of them Round two, it's going to be the Utah Jazz. And we beat them easily, so we're in the conference finals. This is a solid Kings team, but we've been on a great run so far, and it looks like we're going to continue it. We just need one more win, and we'll be in the finals. We're here. Taking on the Milwaukee Bucks with Vince Carter, Chris Webber, and Sam Cassell. Solid Bucks team for sure. Game one will go to them. They take game two as well. We finally get a win in game three, but they take game four and ultimately beat us in five. I'm surprised you made it this far, Wemby. I'm not going to lie. It was a great run for him, too. At age 36, he put up 26, 10, and 6 in the playoffs. That's pretty impressive. Now, Wemby Nyama is headed into year 19, and the regression is starting to hit for the old man. The regression 
aggression is hitting for the whole team. Last year, we made a pretty deep playoff run, though, so maybe we can do it again. Season is wrapped. Finally, a guard wins MVP. It's Agent Zero taking it home. And this year, we were the eighth seed with 40 wins. Barely made it into the playoffs. Round number one, we got Golden State. Hold on. I just saw this pop up in the social media tab. Is that Shams Charania in 2004? He's 29 years old right now. So in 2004, he was 10 years old. Bro was early to the news. All right, anyway, let's get to the playoffs. Let me stop yapping. We got the Warriors in round one. We swept them. What is wrong with this team? How do we do this? Okay, we lost in round two. Wembenyama always turns it up for the playoffs. Unfortunately, we ended up losing. I don't know how we just casually beat the one seed like that, though. Wembenyama's not ready to leave the game just yet, so he's going to be headed into year 20. The regression is hitting for Wemby a little bit more, and if this season is disappointing in San Antonio, maybe he'll look to leave or maybe he'll retire i'm not really sure he's old tim duncan wins mvp this season and the spurs won 48 games they're in the playoffs once again and wemby isn't thinking about retirement just yet in the first round we got the dallas mavericks and we lost in six Again, Wemby turned it up a little bit for the playoffs. Just wasn't enough. And also, he did sign a new deal, so he'll be with the Spurs for two more years. It'd be nice if we could pick up somebody else to help out Wembenyama in the final years of his NBA career. But I guess we're not going to get him any help. The supporting cast looks tragic. Another season in the books, KG wins the MVP award. This season, we won 42 games. Wembenyama only about 17 a night. And he's talking about a contract extension. Buddy, you're pushing 40. Forget the contract extension. You need to sign a contract with the retirement home. Okay, maybe not. He just made it to the second round. Wemby almost made it to the conference finals, but he ends up losing in game seven. He can still turn it up in the playoffs, even in year 21. Man, this is the longest I've seen a player play in a minute in a simulation. Wemben Yama's heading into year number 22. At this point, I'm just curious to see how much longer he'll play. Oh, last season we traded for Michael Red. That's a good pickup. We got Wemby a little bit of help. Another season in the books. Gilbert Arenas wins the MVP award this time. And we missed out on the playoffs. And after missing the playoffs, Wembenyama is ready to retire. After 22 years pro, our guy Wemby has officially left the game. And what a career it was for Wembenyama. Four championships, five MVPs, three finals MVPs. 21 all-star appearances, nine all-NBA first team appearances, and four all-NBA second team appearances. Wemby also finished first all-time in scoring, third in rebounds, first in blocks, and first in minutes. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.